Transit, uh, welcome back to the Pure Is show. Uh, yesterday when we were talking, um, the, the example was given that when you learn to drive a car, you have an instructor. Mm. You know, you get in the car, he says, right, put, you know, put it into neutral, put your hands on the steering wheel like this, press the gear, put, the <laughs> put your right foot on the brakes or your left foot or mm. whatever it is. The point being, that person is the expert mm. and he or she is teaching you how to drive a car. Yeah. Now, what people don't realize, and I certainly don't, mm. is that when it comes to relationships, marriage, no one teaches you. You mm. don't have an expert like you're sitting in the car. Right? And, and I feel that people in relationships, mm. especially in marriage, mm. they, they need help. I, I, I can certainly say men need help. Mm. And if I can't speak for a lot of men, I can speak <laughs> for myself. I, I think need women need it too. Yeah, women need yeah, it too. But I would dare yeah. not speak for women. I'd get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. But the point is, in the same way that if you press the wrong pedal in a car, yeah. you'd crash it, mm. right? The amount of crashes I realize that I've, I've caused, I yeah. must, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it first, the amount of crashes that I've caused in my marriage, yeah. right, it's just it's ridiculous. Yeah. If that was a car version, that car's <laughs> been written off too many times. Yeah. But yeah. That, that, that for me is not only tragic about me or mm. my relationship, it's tragic for people in all relationships. Absolutely, and, yeah. and But this is the point I'm trying to get across to you, mm. is that no one has that instructor. Mm. And, and so someone like yourself mm -hmm. who does that, that, that must be one of the most powerful mm. and amazing things that one can do. You must get great satisfaction out of helping Very people. Very rewarding. I, 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 love, I love my job. It's not even like I'm working. It feels like you I'm just... You don't even think of it as yeah, a job? Yeah, it's not a job. It's just I, it's my passion to help somebody else and to make a difference. And it, like you said, it's kind of... You sometimes need that self-help, don't mm. you? And it's good if you did if you did have a book on marriage or yes. your relationships. Like I'm a sure manual. I'm like sure there's manual. loads out there, but yes. it's just actually if we had a you know step to step guide on relationships, it would be brilliant. But a lot of us don't haven't got the awareness uh, uh, on how yes. to kind of uh, you know gear our like you so to speak yeah. your metaphor about driving. Of course. We, we wish we did have a uh, you know. Uh, e even traffic lights. You come, to a, you come to a traffic lights in a car. Yeah. You go red means stop, so I better calm down. Yeah. You know. Amber means get ready, and green yeah. means go. But in a marriage, you don't get that. I, I wish someone told me when the stop means, listen, I yeah. should back down. Yeah. And I, I probably pressed the, the rev button and gone green. <laughs> no, but can you see? I, yeah. and I'd, I'd rather yeah. keep using those examples. Like you mentioned earlier, you know, it's like having a car crash, isn't mm. it? You just don't know how to kind of handle it. So yes. my job is really to kind of, you know, Signpost. facilitate kind of um, like mediation, where kind of giving strategies, techniques to couples to actually to kind of put in their marriage, to kind of give them step by step hand holding, so to speak, uh, about how, how to kind of, Simple you know, ways relationship, to yeah, forward, how yeah. to kind of, you know, maybe mm. build, their uh, build a hel healthier relationship. And it's all about strategies, techniques, but it's all about s having the awareness on how the other person is feeling or how you, your, your behavior, your actions or reactions are, are affecting that other person. But like I, I've been saying on, on all the other shows, it's ourself. We don't realize our behavior, the way we behave towards someone else, or if we don't like somebody else's behavior, it's, 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 our, it's like a mirror, mirror reflection of us. Mm -hmm. so, so really, it's all about how we can actually put the pieces together and, and, and have a healthier relationship. And it's all about actually having the awareness and, and, and how we, we, we want to be ourselves, how we actually, how do you want your relationship? What do you want out of your relationship? It's all yeah. about what you want out of your relationship. But a lot of the times, you must admit, tragic, P people don't analyze that. Yeah. People don't think that far ahead of this one. Th th they're so busy in their lives. Yeah. Um, but, but I think what happens, I mean, what are the common faults that you see in couples, yeah. in marriages? What are the common things that you, you see when, when you're kind of coaching people yeah, not counseling yeah a lot of uh, like we, we spoke yesterday is, is is communication but also uh, the but when you say communication that's that's a generic the breakdown word. Lack, lack so so yeah, yeah. so a, a lack of communication they're not talking to each yeah. other clearly yeah they're not expressing their feelings and it's, it's it's responsiveness that means like you know for example tennis yes when so I'll give you an example. So one, uh, one, you know, tennis, you need two people. Yeah. So one person's kind of uh, sending a message to the other person, sending the ball, throwing the ball. Yeah. The other person's throwing the ball back. Mm -hmm. And it's that, that's, that's the responsiveness. But so, so if you're kind of communicating in that way, mm -hmm. think of it, uh, that's like a metaphor. Think of it if you're having an argument 
or, or not even argument and one person's trying to communicate to the other person but is the other person communicating back and that means responsiveness meaning mm. that are you responding to that person what they're asking of you or asking yeah. you know what their needs are what so are, are, you, are, so are you are you actively listening yes yeah, so are you actively to listening to this, like yeah. we said you know um, on the last show yeah. so it's all about for example when i give the metaphor again about tennis it's like if if if, if one person is actually um I'll give you an example. So one, the, the, the sender, so the person that's communicating yeah. to the receiver, let's call the sender and the receiver. Well, why don't you use traffic lights? <laughs> traffic lights is much easier. No, so, so let me just make my point first. So, on, so, so with, with what I'm trying to say about the tennis is about back and forth response. So when yeah. we're communicating, so now we're talking, I'm, 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 I'm answering your questions, you're asking me questions. So it's back and forth. So what happens in, in a relationship when you're asking something of somebody else, the other receivers not responding back to you so that's when the breakdown of communication comes uh, comes about so so for example if, if one person is asking so I'll give you an example so one person saying oh um, I, I feel tired I, I've come back from work I feel tired today and then the, the, the re responder you know the receiver is actually saying oh okay um, does that mean you, you feel tired so we, should we have takeaway tonight then you know, that's an example. And yeah. yeah, yeah, I would prefer that. I am feeling tired. Okay, what would you like? Um, and then he'll respond back and say, "Well, have that, that, that's a good communication. Let's have, let's, you know, whatever they feel like having. He'll respond back. Mm -hmm. Let's have that. And uh, maybe then you can relax, maybe. But if it was like the lack of communication, on the other hand, it would be the the uh, I'm feeling tired today, and the other one would say, "Oh, right, okay," and you know, wouldn't respond back and say, "Well." Should we, have, should we have takeaway then? Would say, you know, in, in, yeah. and then, 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 then the responder would actually say back that, uh, um, yeah, should we have takeaway? What do you want? I don't know. I, I, I can't be bothered. You know, yeah. you sort it out. So it's a breakdown so, in so communication. It's a breakdown yeah. because he's not, he's, he's not responding back on what she wants. Mm. The other com side of the communication is actually you're really but responding. Trying to what forth. I'm asking though, yeah. it, what, what are the common themes mm. that are cause problems in, in marriages yeah. or relationships? What do you find are the so common themes? So, so communication yeah, yeah. is, so when you say communication, let's be absolutely clear yeah. about this. What you're saying is, yeah. is that um, a couple, yeah. Uh, they start off all bright and starry-eyed mm. and excited and yeah. happy and in love, mm. but 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 they w when they stop talking to each other, yeah. dare I say honestly, yeah. or they stop expressing their feelings yeah. honestly, mm -hmm. either either they'll keep it in, yeah. either they'll express it and get angry. Mm -hmm. But the point is, by by, by not communicating effectively, yeah. not talking effectively, yeah. in a in a manner that both people can speak mm. openly in a, in a calm way, mm -hmm. that that is the that is a is a major influence, isn't it? That is a yeah. major cause yeah. in a lot of relationships. Is that what you would say? Yeah, yeah, I, I get, that's what I get, a lack, a lack of communication, but equally, uh, attention, mm. you know, uh, attention, uh, you know, sometimes the the partner's probably feeling like there's not getting much attention, yes. and, not, and that is lack of communication too, but mm. attention in the sense of, you know, what you Giving quality do. time. Yeah, giving quality time and asking yeah. how their day has been and actually asking yes. detail and listening to it and being active yes. and asking them what you've been doing and, and then feeling wanted as well. Because sometimes giving attention is like you feel you you feel you, you, yeah. you feel wanted, don't you? Yeah. You feel loved because you actually that person is paying you attention and really listening yeah. to to what you what you've done and, and today giving you attention. and giving you the attention. Actually, really listening to you and actually giving you the attention and actually wanting to know what what you've been doing during the day and what you yeah. how's your day been? Has it been a good day or has it been a bad day? And and, and sometimes you want to share share that with someone you know throughout genuinely, the day. Genuinely, genuinely. You so so let's say from a man perspective a man comes home mm. and says to his wife oh, by the way mm. uh, uh, just to let you know later on I'm taking you out for dinner yeah or I'm gonna take you to the yeah. pictures yeah uh, and, and I've already organized it yeah. that is giving attention isn't absolutely. it absolutely oh it could be just simple as that just coming in and giving her a hug or a kiss yeah. it, you know just something simple or saying yeah. or just uh, or just communicating with her and saying oh how's your day been what you've yeah. been up to but being well, genuine or, about it. Yeah, and or, or I've missed you today, or yeah. just the, you know, throughout the day, maybe attention yes. to sending a text, or throughout the day, what you or what you're up to, or just something simple as that. It doesn't even mean that you have to really go out your way and go out for a meal. It doesn't even mean that. Mm. It just means something simple by actually just giving her, her or him attention that you're actually are with. Yeah. What, what what I'm trying to say it's connection. Yeah. What you're trying to say, we're connected, aren't yeah. we? We are together. 
the togetherness and that makes a man or a woman yeah, that electricity. feels connecting. It that shows that it's yeah, on. You've been doing your own thing all day, then that electricity when you come mm. home is, is togetherness again and you're actually connecting again. And that is by giving your attention and your appreciation and recognition that, yeah, we, we're here as a couple, we love each other. Obviously, you don't have to say it 24 hours, but by just showing that little bit of affection as well, because I also go with the... Um, the class A, and that means like, you know, showing affection, you know, um, attention, you know, uh, um, also adoring somebody, also, um, you know, finding... What's the difference between affection and attention? Please break this down for me. <laughs> no, seriously. So, uh, uh, so affection and uh, yeah. attention. So affection, I, I, if so I affection hold... affection is like uh, showing someone you love them. Affection, so you could be by connecting, by physically touching somebody. Or giving, uh, giving a, a hug, hug yeah. or a kiss, that yeah. could be... Give or, or just or texting somebody yeah. and uh, uh, did you say affection? Well, affection, affection. affection. So affection. So affection is like somebody touching somebody or giving them yeah. a hug. Or attention. Their hands, attention, yeah. attention is by just actually actively listening to them and asking them how's your day been, yeah. what you've been doing, really being interested in them, not just actually. So being attentive as well. Attentive. That's right. Yeah. But actually really listening to what they've got to say for the day. So if they've had a hard day at work or a hard day at home, wherever they've mm. been, they can actually really actually, um, you know, um, let loose and actually yeah. express what they've been doing. And, and that person is actually listening to them instead of actually, um, you know, just, uh, yeah, just texting pretend, or yeah. watching TV. Or, or just or pretending yeah. or just saying, hi, love, how are you? And, yeah. and getting attentive, on with the thing, yeah. Being attentive to that person, yeah. really being there and being in that connection by actually listening to them instead of saying, yeah, 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 and then going on to something else. But actually asking them questions about their day. So so have a question about, you know, if someone, if, yeah. you, if you've had a bad day, or oh, what happened? Well, you know, really go into detail about it, and then that's where they feel a bit wanted as well, thinking, oh, he's really paying attention to me, and I like that. And, and, and well, then- Well, you know, yeah. um, because the dire consequences are, is when all this doesn't happen. Mm. You know, yeah. uh, you're, you're, you're saying what should happen, mm. but we all know that a lot yeah. of people don't do this. So, so and so yeah. the consequences of not doing this mm. is what causes the relationship break to down. be negative. That's right. So we'll take a break there and we'll talk about the consequences of what happens uh, uh, when you don't do this. Okay. We'll take a break. Thank you. So, Tranji, uh, um, in the first half of the show, we were talking about what should be done, you know, mm -hmm. the attention, mm -hmm. affection, adoring as well, the three A's. <laughs> are there any more A's that should be in? <laughs> but no, th those three are enough. Well, uh, how to be attractive as well in yeah. your marriage, and, and, and we can talk about that as well, and that's yeah. a really important thing we can go through as well. Go on, that, let, let's finish as A. So, okay. so being attractive... Uh, I and mean that doesn't mean just physical, physically, it means psychologically. But uh, are you, mm -hmm. uh, let me hold you there, are you saying attraction as in m looking good for your partner? Um, not like, like, like I said, feeling good for your yeah, partner. Feeling good, but um, I mean on a on a mental level, on a mm. physical. So you know, like uh, psych psychologically, in your mind, how you you, you, you become independent. Mm. So psychologically independent. So that means a free thinker, and also um, being kind of uh, assertive. That means don't be uh, don't be any shadows or her shadows. Be independent, meaning start kind of living your dreams too so instead of actually not you know shadowing him what he wants or she wants actually start living your own dreams what do you want out of your uh, relationship but out of your life what's your purpose what yes, do you want yes, yes. so that means actually be 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 comfortable and be you know actually confident in your own as a, a as a own being actually yeah. go so, what you're saying so be attractive yeah. meaning that you're not needy so yeah. you're not needy on that person wanting them to fulfill your needs. So, so, so that means when I mean by shadow, don't be in their shadow, is actually become your own person too. And that becomes so more give, attractive. So give a real life example of that on the people so, that you coach. So a lot of, uh, p uh, some of the uh, people I do coach is like the, the woman is, is very needy. So that means meaning or, or the man is. So it could be, for example, I had a, a couple where, where uh, the, Equally, it was the one partner wasn't working, so it was quite needy on security, on money, mm. uh, needy on actually um, as well, um, you know, wanting to go out and buy things, but she couldn't because obviously he, she was needed on him. So I, so I, she had reliance. Of, yeah, reliance. So I kind of turned it around. But if you had, what's your purpose? 
you know, what do you want? So she, it, com it comes, she wanted her own career as well and a job and to fulfill her own needs. So mm -hmm. when I mean, when I mean be attractive, attractive means be attractive that you actually can stand on your own two feet. Yeah. And when you can stand on your own two feet, you don't really n have that reliance on that other person. Just all you need the reliance is, is, is having that loving relationship. Yes, that doesn't mean you don't need that security. Everybody needs security, but don't have that neediness, that neediness of actually always someone being there for for me or should be be you know should be there. Uh, so are you trying to say that so they should they should stand so up in their own right, that's right, whatever happens. Yeah, yeah. So stand up. So so when I mean mm. psychologically um, independent, that means be a free thinker. Mm. So free thinker meaning go and actually find your own dream as well, your, your own journey. When that, that means that becomes attractive to that person because actually that, that so, so in that relationship I was coaching, that woman was actually starting to think, yeah, I want to start, you know, doing things for myself and I need to because you just don't know what could happen in anybody's life, you know, if you're, if you're left on your own or whatever, you can actually survive, you know, independently, independently yeah. by yourself. So I always actually, my coaching, I actually give, give examples of how to be, be attractive and that doesn't mean lo looking good. Yeah, of course, it's, it's, it is about looking good because you want to, yes. what that attraction from that connection with your other partner, but it's also on a mental level being attracted to that person. But also, trans the, um, there's a power relation thing as well, isn't mm. it? In any relationship, there's power relations. Mm. You know, when someone's working, mm. uh, there's a different relationship mm -hmm. with their partner mm -hmm. to when they're not working. That's right, and yeah. I mean, if, if, a, if a partner's kind, caring and loving, mm -hmm. they, will, they, they will respect, irrespective of, right. of, of the economics of it. But it doesn't always work out like that. And there's a great shift. Well, I, yeah. I mean, if I give an example yeah, of, of uh, some distant, um, relatives I have and you know when the when the wife was working the husband was far more attentive mm. far more like what you're doing how mm. you're doing what it is when are we gonna have some time mm. uh, since since they've had children mm. and she doesn't work mm. and and he insisted that she should stay at home you know the power relations have shift mm. shifted mm. you know like he's like you know so what? You don't bring in the income. Mm. I'm bringing the income. And that's where the com like you was asking about the conflict. Yeah. That's yes. where the conflict yeah. in a family, in a relationship occurs. And what do you what do you yeah. do in this marriage? And, and, and yeah. she cannot believe he's saying things like, mm. "What do you do in this mm. marriage?" Like he's judging it purely yeah. now on economics. Like, yeah. hey, I'm the better. I bring everything and in. And you're nothing. And she's and so yeah. offended by that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah well, that's hurtful, and that's yeah. where that's where I was trying. to And that's to what I'm saying about power relations. I mean, there there he was before, like. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, are you, you going to come home after? Oh, you're going to go with your friends? Now it's a different ballgame, isn't it? Now, yeah. and now she, mm. she, she can't see him for dust. And that's what I, I, that's what I see quite a lot, actually, where the man or the woman mm. is actually throwing it in their face. Mm. Uh, oh, well, you're not bringing anything in. You're not doing anything. Yeah, what are you good for? And then the self-esteem of that person mm. really comes low, and then the, the, the confidence goes. Mm. So they feel that that's where the conflict occurs, and then the, it gets built in. You know, the, the anger, the frustration of, of the relationships, that's where they kind of come to a blow. And is that um, the part where you say, but what do you want? You know, irrespective right. of what they're doing what's for your you, purpose? what do you want? I always ask people, what are you, what's your purpose on your journey? What do you want? And when, and when they actually really think, what do you mean, what do I want? And a lot of people really don't know what they want, and that's where they become stuck. And that's where my coaching comes in where I probe, ask questions, mm. and, and uh, it's not me giving them a, a solution actually, it's me by actually giving them questions and asking mm. them certain things. It comes out of them and mm. then it com we, we, get, we get to the cause, we get to the actually root cause of why she's actually feeling that way, mm. and it could be that she actually does want, or he, I shouldn't keep saying she, but mm. he, or she wants to go out there and work and actually be in her own or her his own by actually being successful because everybody wants to be successful yeah. in their own right whether they're a housewife whether they're a house husband or whatever they want to be though yeah. if, I, if i stick to the example i gave yeah she, she was saying to me she'd be happy to mm. be the homemaker mm. to bring the children up yeah. she thought that that was the buy-in mm. of uh, with her husband however what mm. i think what's coming out of this is that when she's realised that the that the husband is literally treating her badly, and throwing it in her face mm. almost on a daily basis, mm. she's up. She's up. She's absolutely gobsmacked. Yeah. Not gobsmacked. She's shocked. Yeah. She she's shaken to the core mm. that you, the man I love, 
that is treating saying? me like this just because. Well, there's no respect. And, is and, there? And, yeah. and, and she, mm. one of the last things she said to me mm. many months ago, she was, you know what, I want to look after the kids, mm. but you know what, to hell with it. You know what I'll do? I will go and get a job, yeah. no problem. Mm. You know, and yes, we'll put the kids into full time nursery, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. Right? But just to show you, so you can't throw it in my face, mm. you can't throw it in my face, mm. right? That, that, and you will not be able to say that. Yeah. And guess what? From the moment she said that, he goes, oh, it's okay, I don't, uh, you don't need to work. Yeah. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. pal, you, I don't need to work yeah. after what you've been saying to me. Yeah. Watch this. Mm. And, and th then, can you see there's so a... Get, then that becomes a struggle in the relationship, that comes a strain, because yeah. obviously... It's not healthy, is yeah, it? It's not healthy, and that's where the, 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 the breakdown of communication comes in. So in, in that abstract example, what would you advise that that, that Like that I couple? said, I would actually really get them to actually look at what they want, and yeah. in that in that n instinct, I was actually but those, really sit them down. Yeah, yeah, but into play, really, I would actually. What does he really want out yeah. of this? Does he does he d d does he really mean what he's saying, or is he just saying it flippantly, or mm. you know, in anger, he's saying that to her? So he yeah. really needs to be mindful on what he's actually saying and what does he want. So if he's actually doesn't really want his wife to work and wants to look after the children, he really needs to accept that she is at home and actually really get rid of these these negative emotions that he's actually harboring so it should be it must be kind of some sort of stress level for him to mm. actually keep saying that maybe you know he he feels that there's you know there's not enough money coming in or something or he feels that he's the pressure of bringing the income or for her is, is is that scenario that he's actually bringing the income in and it's maybe it's a lot of pressure for him you know and there can be a compromise you know she can equally go part time you know, there's always a compromise or, or, or he needs to accept and not throw it in her face and really sit down and discuss why he does he keep throwing that in her face yeah. and actually ask him the question, what, 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 what's the purpose of his actually say, what's important to him? And actually asking him the questions, what's important to you about, you know, this family environment, I mean, etc. Uh, in one context, uh, you said, oh, I'll, I'll stick this for the children. Mm. I'm here for the children. Mm. And, and, and she feels really hurt by that because what he's saying is, mm. uh, it's not for her, I'm doing all yeah. this for the children, I'm not, I'm not doing it because mm. of you. And that's what happens, that's, that's where the conflict occurs, where he's actually not really respecting her by yes. actually saying those types of words. But, but, but when, when a conflict occurs, it's really about, um, I mean, what, I, what, the, what I've actually, the strategies I use is actually getting them to actually be very reflective on what they're actually saying to each other. So actually, whatever he's for example. Know, so so for example, so, so he's in before the actual conflicts occurring is first of all communicate and, mm. and talk about what is actually the the, the issue. Mm. Why is he actually what, feeling? What this is way? the heart of them? Yeah, what causes what's it? Causing Getting it. down to the cause. And then actually then get them to be very reflective on what they're actually saying. So so whatever he is actually saying when he's calm is for her or him you know for her to reflect back mm. on what he's saying so that is active listening so I exactly mm. her words say back to her then she understands that you've actually heard her mm. paraphrasing have you heard of that before yes. so you're paraphrasing each other's conversation that you're actually listening but but really first of all get to the core why is he so upset and throwing it back into her face mm. and also also actually saying um you know i'm doing it for the children what does it what does his marriage mean to him and then really get to that problem so asking him questions and actually really what's his purpose what, what you know be pacific yeah. so when i say be pacific what are the pacifics behind him actually feeling upset that she's not working or you know because it's not it's, it's, yeah. it's not about her really but like I you, always you, say, you know yeah. you know what makes me laugh one of the first example you ever gave mm. was when you when, when i said well so how, how do you help couples? You went, well, for example, when a man comes home from work, ra rather than the wife and the children be, you know, like, you know, the wife's had a hard day, tension, yeah. running around the kids stressed, and she's waiting for the husband to go in to give him a hard time mm. as well, because she's, yeah. she's had a tough day. But what you've taught the wife to say is, listen, hey, honey, how are you? <laughs> You're looking lovely. Yeah. Ha, ha, but you, you, you so twisting even it around. Twisting yeah. it around. So even though they're feeling negative, mm. but to say something positive. Yep. But first of all, I always get them to train their mind before yeah. they get to that space yes. of actually, hi, honey, yeah. sit down. She, she has to get to that space in her mind by obviously changing a negative Finding thought pattern. Space, yeah. Yeah, uh, changing a negative thought patterns to when her thinking in her mind, well, 
I'm, I'm doing everything all day. He's at work, you know, yeah. lucky him. I'm having to cook, clean, yeah. children, everything, you know. S this is some women. I'm not saying all yeah, women. That's a thought pattern. That's a saying. thought pattern and very angry. And when he gets in, I'm just going to give it to him. So and, I and get them to So I get, I get them to kind of change their habit of thinking by actually giving them strategies by how about if you thought and looked at his, you know, he's working all day. I really appreciate him. I really kind of appreciate it and I, I missed him actually all day to have that adult company because I've been with the children all day so I'm really looking forward to him coming home and I can have that adult conversation and I, I can't wait to tell him you know what I've done today you know yeah. but, but, but the, the thing about it in the so, positive so, so first of all I have to get her to start you know doing this positive thinking by changing her language and her thought patterns by like I told you I don't know whether I told you by having that security guard in her brain by mm. saying no don't let the negativity thoughts come in and a just a self positive. security yeah. guard. So stop there. Let's think about it positively. So before he steps in, you've already changed your mindset on how you're going to actually deal with him. Well, Kranji, let's take a break there. Okay. We've got another guest joining us after the break. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about the, the from the security guard to the positive mindset. Okay. We'll take Brilliant. a break. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, Tranja, you know, before the break, we were talking about, you know, the the, the, the in a relationship where a husband comes home, but you, you've trained the, the other partner who's at home of, of to think of positive mm. things of uh, 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 to say, mm. to do, to feel, mm. to behave, mm -hmm. rather than, rather than the negativity, mm. and that is critical uh, mm. change agent mm -hmm. uh, of the kind of. Um, a signposting that you give it's, a, it's, it's, it's changing the mindset yes. it's all about our mindset our mindset controls uh, our reality mm. our, our life our behaviors so so really once we start changing our mindset it's like our mind is like uh, I always say it's like the weather it's up and down it's you know yeah. you have a, a storm hailstones or sometimes it's sunny you know it, it's, 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 we all have to kind of change our mindsets our, ourselves it's up to us it's our choice so, so we have to pick what scene we want in our mind so if you want a, a, a positive scene you have to start actually um, you know the self-talk we all have in our, our, our mind our, our conscious mind is actually be positive so whatever we're talking to ourselves make it positive instead of negative talking to positive and sunny <laughs> I should have said this right at the start of the Absolutely, program. Absolutely, yeah. Sonny is my dear friend, <laughs> but also a very close colleague that mm -hmm. I've, I've worked with for the last 10 years. Well but but Sonny, you know, <laughs> just before we came on set, you said something very, very important, mm. is that these things happen in communities. Mm. You know, we, we all come from different communities. Backgrounds, we all live in yeah. England. We're all British, but we all come from di you know, different parts of communities, Sikh, mm. African, Nigeria, Pakistani, Kashmiri, or whatever it may be. Yet yeah, we all we are all English as well, but I mean, do you find that um, w when you're talking to people, it's I mean, are the themes cut through any communities, or is it certain things that happen, especially within communities? So for example, in Asian communities, um, they live a lot more in extended families. Yeah. So dare I say, the kind of dynamics that are taking place mm. are far different to other communities. Absolutely. Um, Obviously, in, in the our Asian community, yeah. it's it's uh, you've got you're not just married to your husband, you're married mm. to the whole family and the extended family. Mm. So you are not actually dealing with your uh, issues with your um, husband. You're dealing with issues with the whole whole family. Mm. So that becomes an extra kind of maybe should I say a stress or anxiety or a, a constant. That's what you're constantly maybe. Uh, maybe moaning or groaning or arguing with your your partner yeah. because th it's impacting your life living uh, f like for example for uh, an Asian uh, well a like woman. Jab Jabra and his wife were saying yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday they you know she kept saying and your parents uh, yeah you know so but, 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 or living living yeah, with in-laws and, and, and the living with in-laws that just what happens we was talking yesterday well, she wasn't saying a negative but way yeah, but it's, it's an extra yeah. dynamic when yeah. you first get married mm. because what happens you uh, move, you know a woman in our community goes and mm leaves her family behind and goes and lives in her husband's family and that's all taking on all new responsibilities so it's, it, it can be very stressful and very daunting uh, for a woman mm. um, and all you know and, and that's where that's where the conflict occurs you're not actually marrying you know your your husband you haven't got his full attention because he's dealing with everybody else 
So you're on not a daily basis. Daily basis. So you're not actually getting his undivided attention. It's it's going on every different aspect. So he he's probably stressed as well. It's not just he 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 can't actually say no to his family either. So he's in a no win situation. So he's trying to please his wife. He's trying to please uh, you know his family. So it kind of comes to a, a point where he's kind of pulling his hair out and doesn't know who to please. So Sunny, yeah. you saw the first two parts of this program uh, sitting offset. What are your thoughts about this whole thing of, of relationship and coaching and, 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 and the in impact it has in daily lives? Well, you know, what I've seen, you know, coming from Africa and, you know, my African heritage, uh, is very... And you're, 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 you're headed Nigerian? Is that, is um, that yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm originally from yeah. Nigeria. I'm, you know, I'm British African now. If you yes. Like. Uh, what it is, is that... See, the in, in different cultures, there are different ways by which, you know, couples function. Perhaps individually when they're living alone, you know, the two point four children. Sure. Uh, or a family or, um, you know, in, in like Asian mm. family, majority of Asian family mm. back in the days mm. are perhaps arranged. People are more, you know, modern now. And it's they changing tend to now, yeah. And they, they yeah, tend to, bit, yeah. to, to, to make their own you know, decisions. Now, uh, it's not too dissimilar from the way the Africans are. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, in Africa, when you marry, you are marrying the whole family as mm -hmm. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, you see, you have to look at the pros and cons of mm. that and how I actually support mm. married couples yeah. and, and, and their micro-family, if mm. you like. Mm. Because you are not just married to your husband. Mm. Everybody knows you. You are well Absolutely. known. Absolutely. So the, the, the in beauty the of that. Yeah. So you're trying to please uh, the whole family as well yeah. as your husband, aren't you? So that's, really that's right. Or your so wife it's family, equally? extended family, community. Yeah. You know, yeah. Cause, it's, cause, not, it's not just one what individual. What happens, you're, how I, I've kind of like analysed it, to, uh, looking back on it, is like when I got married, I was kind of, you know, my parents, I was in this kind of loving, um, with my parents and loving family. Then they kind of put me in another loving family. But then obviously on top of that, it's more responsibility. Because when you're a daughter, it's different. But when you're a daughter, mm, daughter no. it's different. So okay. there's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the pressures come, I think, in, in, in a relationship. And, you know, where the conflicts start yeah. arising. Is that what you're saying? So yeah. There's different rules and regulations. Yeah. Uh, and they increase as well. Yeah. And they're new. They're yeah. new, aren't they? Yeah, but you see, what, w you know, you know, what you we have to try and embrace is the fact that when the ma marriage is under threat of breakdown. Mm. Those same families, mm. because by virtue of the relationship that exists in within support. the two families, mm. they give you support. Mm. Yeah. And that they give you a lifeline. Yeah, mm. that's right. And that mm. support can yeah. come mm. in terms of, you know, advice. Mm. It yeah. can come in terms of counseling. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be economic. Because, yeah. mm. you know, majority of... You yeah. know, a shoulder to cry on. Yeah. Mm. A sh uh, an ear to listen. That's mm. it. Yes. So, you know, it, it, it's got some parts. Mm. Yeah. But... It's got the positives as well. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. you see, the, you know, the, the negative part is because I, is that you are living in everybody's, you know, under, you know, yeah. you're, 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 you're operating under, under the like same roof. Yeah. And the intensity. That mm -hmm. And the yeah. intensity as well. You don't get to kind of as well form that, r that relationship that you really want with that person, mm -hmm. you know, that, that intimate relationship because you've got the whole family there and that's what sometimes where the breakdown mm -hmm. occurs and that's mm -hmm. what a lot of, uh, you know, um, you know, experiences I've heard of, of, of couples saying that mm. it's been really hard and they're kind of, re even now they've, they've moved out maybe from their in-laws and they're living by themselves, but they've always had still the, the past still That's haunting right. them right. uh, and they don't let go. So I've that seen, still I've goes into so their marriage. Yes. Now, yeah. and that's where th that conflict still occurs until you know one or the other kind of actually lets go of the past and looks at the here and now how they can move forward in that marriage in that relationship. You know, then it's going to actually start again and fresh page. Let's move on. But a lot of the lot of the, the, these the, these marriages or, or these partnerships are actually holding on to old baggage, <laughs> and that's what's causing yeah. the most the conflict. But are you saying, Transit, that these people don't let go? Or, or they temporarily let go, but if something bad happens, they bring it back That's up. That's right. So when the conflict occurs, yeah. you put everything on the table, you, you, yeah. you throw anything and everything <laughs> yeah. you can think yeah. of. And that's where, because you want to hurt that other person. 
Yeah. And then when you calm down, you're thinking, well, why did I say that for? You kind of come to a thing, I shouldn't have said that. So <laughs> yesterday we were discussing <laughs> this thing about forgive and forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That many people forgive, but they don't forget. Mm -hmm. So when it yeah, happens the next yeah. time, yeah. they bring it back again. <laughs> <laughs> they go, listen, and by the way, <laughs> and, <there's laughs> and, and, and they yeah. throw it back again. Mm -hmm. and, and escalate and something that yeah. is, you know, so minor. That's yeah. it. just becomes something. But the point nothing. is they've held yeah. it. They've held, so it's like me saying something, I apologize. <laughs> but the next time it happens, I'm going to say, you know what? <laughs> this, 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 and this. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Kranji, more onto Kranji it, yeah. came up with this um, technique called timeline therapy, where it's not just the forgiveness that she get, she helps you with, it's the, it's the deleting of the negative thing permanently, mm. permanently. It's the negative emotion. So if you're holding on to the negative emotions of, uh, you know, the, the conflict you've had, so but, uh, what we was talking about yesterday, it's more about yourself. Okay. So you, we, we harbour a lot of a negative emotion. So when we harbour a, lo a, lo a, lot, a lot of big negative emotion, we kind of, that's where we kind of, the conflict occurs, the arguments occurs. But with the timeline therapy, mm -hmm. we delete, um, you know, obviously you can't delete memory, um, but you, you can delete the, the, the negative emotion onto that memory. And that's what ne that's what time and therapy does. It actually, okay. you know, helps releases. you to be able to yeah. operate Move within forward. time let over go. matter. Yeah, let go. Yeah, let go yeah. of the negativity. Yeah. So any okay. any anger you got, any fear, hurt, sadness, guilt, you can release those negative emotions mm. via doing this therapy. Mm. And that's just and, and really, so nothing kind of like is attached to that feeling. Okay. So that, that you've got that memory still. But it's no negative emotion. No negativity. Attacks. That that is heavy. That yeah. is heavy. That very is very heavy stuff. But for somebody yeah. to let go of that kind of mm. negativity, which mm. they've stored for virtually their whole mm. life in many ways, mm. that's right. You know, for years that's and right. years and years, and to be able to let affect, that go yeah. affect people from actually yeah. And, growing and remember, you have to want to let go. Of Absolutely. It, yeah. mm. uh, I mean, that, that's the key thing. Mm. You know, emotional. You know, so you use that term growing emotionally. Mm -hmm. You stop growing. Absolutely. Because yeah. you're so you 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 keep hitting this thing. You keep hitting this. Negativity and and you know I had someone who I was at, I was at dinner with a, a, a relative of mine mm. and you know he's got a big job and everything and I said come on you can do this you can do this he goes shall I be honest with you he goes I don't I, I no one else knows but I don't feel I have the confidence mm. and he goes I'm just being honest with you. Mm. I looked at him and said, come here, I'll take you down a dark alley. I'll, I'll knock some confidence in you. And it's really, <laughs> you know, I think it's a confidence but, 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 you know, I said it that way, yeah. as a joke. <laughs> First I said that yeah. as a joke. I said, come here, I'll take you down a dark alley. I'll knock some confidence in you. But yeah. I said, look, you know you said that? He mm. goes, yeah. I said, let me tell you something. You know when I came to this event today and I was waiting for you and, you know, the drinks reception, I said, do you know what I was thinking? He goes, what were you thinking? I said, I was thinking, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, because... As much as I was outwardly portraying that I was happy, confident, relaxed, I was thinking. I don't I, know anybody. Everyone else is talking to you, and I'm not talking. Mm. I said, I'm not talking. Mm. And I said, I kept drinking the orange juice, mm. and then I drink another orange juice, and I must have got drunk on orange juice because I was trying to make conversation, but no one's quite catching my mm. eye to talk to, mm. and people are already in their circles. Mm. So I said, look, so don't worry. You know, you you think you go through that experience, I go through that mm. experience, and then he felt better. Because he goes, oh, if someone like you can go through that, then I feel a lot better. I think a, a lot of people um, go through confidence issues, don't they? Yeah. And that could be kind of uh, from your past or yeah. from your when you were a child. It could be a, a lot of things that are actually harboring what's caused you to be, you know, not to speak out and feel yeah. that way. And everybody feels that, but it's all about actually that self-talk of actually positive thinking. and Self-talk or taught? Self-taught and talk. Yeah. So it's actually teaching yourself how to become confident. But equally, the timeline therapy, like I, I spoke about yesterday, is can eliminate all those kind of you know negativity, th negativity that's actually in we'll the, the emotions. It yeah. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I just say something? You see, what it is is that majority of the people that have problems, mm. they haven't got the opportunity or privilege mm. to discuss it with someone, mm. to be able to vent how mm. they actually feel. Because yeah. when you talk about how mm. you feel, a lot of problems mm. suddenly, you know, half of the problem is shared. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying to you? Yes. And that, Very you know, important. yeah. That Very itself, that point. function itself yeah. right. takes a lot so of weight When off. you mention self-talk, Mm. It's, it's, it's something that is very important. And the self-talk has to be positive. That's because right. once you start self-talking negatively, that's where all this anger, frustration, you know, fear comes out of yeah. you. And that's why it's so important to self-talk, but positively. That's right. But yeah. on that note of self-talk, can we do some more self-talking after the of break? Course. We'll take a break and we'll come and do some more self-talk. Yeah, of course. Thank, Thank you. you. So 
Sonny Tranji, you know, before the break, uh, we just touch on the importance of self-talk. Sonny, you were saying that just to be able, in the right environment, to be able to talk to someone um, and, and, and get it off, to get the weight off, it, it is a massive uh, a support thing in itself. That's right. Irrespective of what is shared, That's right. just to be able to vent it out. Yeah. And, 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 and Tranji, so is that a normal case where a lot of people... They want to say a lot, but they don't have the opportunity, as Sonny put it, uh, are, are unable to say it in, in the right environment. Absolutely. It's all, it's all about ourselves, how we kind of uh, feel, and that's where the confidence kind of goes low when we're self-talking to ourselves. Like you were just to give the example yeah. where you're out and you're thinking, oh, what am I doing here? I feel uncomfortable. I end up looking uh, at the table plans yeah. just, just to make out I'll keep myself busy. Because, because what it is, we're not comfortable with yeah. it, with, within ourselves. Yeah. Uh, when we're actually talking to ourselves and telling ourselves yeah. what's you know what what we're about and what we want, we're actually saying, oh, this is not good. This is not good for us. I'm you know I'm rubbish at uh, being uh, in front of people talking. I'm, I'm rubbish at going into a function like you went into yeah. and being on my own. I'm, I have to always be talking. But really, until you're really comfortable within yourself and confident with yourself, then you can just go anywhere. And even if you are quiet, or even if you are a, cha a chatty yeah. person, it doesn't matter. Mm. You have to really be comfortable within your own skin until you're uncomfortable mm. in your own skin then you're going to really feel it doesn't matter if I'm chatting if I'm uh, quiet it just be yourself and that is by your actual own mind That's what right. you're actually saying to yourself are you actually saying you know why am I not talking why am I not communicating I should be talking I shouldn't I shouldn't be standing on my own so so those types of things you should eliminate by actually always being mindful of your thoughts so, you know, so thoughts become... Think positively become, all yeah, the time yeah. And, yeah. and make sure you dispel negativity yeah. and, you know, try to, you know, talk about it. Yeah. You know, talking about it yeah. takes a lot of weight off your, of, of your mind yeah. and perhaps somebody can assist you in realigning your thoughts yes. Yes. to positiveness because when you've yeah. got a lot of things going on in your life, because, look, man is just not made, you know, as, 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 as an entity. They are they are affected by social cultural, uh, social cultural, uh, economic, yeah. and there's a whole yeah. health, oh you yeah, know, health, everything, health, well-being, everything, social spirituality, social background, yeah. cultural yeah. background. If it, yeah. there's a whole heap of things that is yeah. that you know that if it you look at it all together, yeah. it, 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 that affect a human being. And the thing is, if you can discuss your problems openly, mm. and this happens in relationship as well, where there is communication breakdown. Mm then it sometimes it could be a catalyst for disaster because mm. people then start fighting and, mm. you know, the, you see yeah. people that have, you know, have got issues with domestic violence and all. But if people can talk about it and look at rationale mm. behind their behavior mm. at times, it helps. Mm. And perhaps when you reverse the role, you behave in a certain way. Mm. And if you, if you reverse that role and the, your, 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 your partner behave in that way, perhaps you will feel somehow. So if you, if you put yourself in... In other people's so shoes from time to the time. The empathy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And to, to be able to understand and, you know, discuss Empathize things. with that person, yeah, yeah and actually f really feel how they're feeling. Communicate. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Communication and is And that's we've key. spoken about that yeah. quite a lot. Communication yeah. Is, yeah. is effective if you communicate in a relationship that's or right. in any kind of relationship, that's whether right. it be, you know, um, a marriage, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be parenting or anything, business, you know, career, well, I think jobs. That key, the key word that's been used, you know, like from a genericness of communication, you know, the specificness of empathy. Empathy means that I'm not, I'm not judging you, mm. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say. Mm. Whereas there's a lot of times in, in everyday life, people don't understand what you want to say. They're waiting for you to finish so they can say their bit. Yeah. And, and it's already pre-packaged. You know, it's the pressures that is outside yes. of that marriage. Because, you know, or, or, or partnership. Yeah. Or it could even be a business relationship. Of mm. course. Because, you see, you know, we are most times people are affected by what is going on around them. Mm. Yeah. They may have the environment, yeah. it's the environment. Yeah. Yeah. And that impacts a lot of our, our, our life. So That's if right. you're, like you just mentioned, if you're in a, a relationship where there's abuse, you know, that environment's impacting you, you know, mentally, physically as well, emotionally. Right. Yeah. And it's all about those elements and how you can actually really kind of really connect and yeah. try to get out of that situation, that environment, and make your environment, you or know. perhaps to remedy that situation. That's right, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. by communicating. Yeah, yes. communication is effective, but equally you have to really, you know, 
you I always think, you know, our emotions really indicate where we're at. You know, however we're feeling and, 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 and thinking as well really kind of indicate where we are in our lives. Which is why I actually like what you actually give back mm. to the people because you, you, you help them to align their thoughts, mm. to look at what is going mm -hmm. on, to look at it. And because, you see, every time you talk mm -hmm. about certain things, you know, you get the feedback. Mm. Yeah. And that feedback, even, you, you know, you do certain things that you're not supposed to, 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 have, to do or to have done. Or the mistakes you made. Or mm. the mistakes you made. And all of a sudden, you, you know, when you think back about it, you say, oh, did I really do that? Yeah. Mm. You you're not aware. You go like this and and oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know. Oh God. Because <laughs> we haven't got the awareness. <laughs> we've got plenty of Oh God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but the, but the, but there's a loveliness in that because, but at least by playing it out, you you're, you're also t taking it out. You're letting it go. Mm. Yes. So Releasing some your people. It, it's not you, just you know, that. Some people hold it in. Yeah. And, and they cannot even bring themselves to express that they've made a mistake. Mm. Yes. And, and that is more dangerous. You have to yeah. keep it in and go. Mm, mm. Then you know that's building is up, isn't that it? Is dangerous. That's Cause building that, up. You know, because yeah. to to keep that in, and uh, we discussed this yesterday, Sandy. He's like, this is how sometimes cancers cause. You know, like the, the whole negative emotions that are going mm -hmm. on. Any because, illness you know, cause in your body? And, yeah. And it, cause, right. it causes negative ma many illnesses. Of course. You know. So it always but, but, always but to do that, Sunny, I respect that. <laughs> as long as it's just that. <laughs> but you know, there's there's also um, you know, as part of this, you know, from the. W w Sonny touched on about cultures, culturally, communities. You know, w we all have ancestors, you know, and when, when my father uh, and his brother and their uh, fellow people, that generation came in the 60s, you know, th there's a famous book written it's called The Myth of Return. Mm -hmm. Because when they left Pakistan and, and those villages and th that feudal life where the money was scarce, you know, th they left f for... They left their brothers, their sisters, their mothers, and their fathers, and they came over as single men to say, "Listen, we will come back one day, mm. but we'll come back, and we're, and we're going there to feed you. Mm. We'll come back one day." And that's why this book was written. It's called "The Myth of Return." Mm. Mm. They never returned. Mm. They never returned. So, uh, it's like my huge uncle. Huge sacrifice. Yeah, huge. And so my uncle once said when I, when I was much younger, he said, "Son, he says, I came here to feed." my parents and my brothers and sisters. Mm. I ended up getting married and having children uh, and, and my focus changed. And he goes, I can't forget them and they're not letting me forget that I came for them. Mm. But you see what's happened, when you have children, your focus changes, yeah. your responsibility changes mm. you, and your economics changes. Mm. And I remember many years when the first time I was 15 year old when I went back to Pakistan, an old lady in the village, she goes, are you so-and-so son? And she's literally old on a walking mm. stick, mm. literally, but she barely, talk and yeah. walk. She says, you so-and-so son? I go, yes. She says, you just tell your father one thing. He forgot about us. He forgot us. That's the only message I want you to tell your father. Wow. <laughs> you know, <I'm> like, <laughs> That's lady. very powerful, Be isn't because it? You know, like, and this is about the myth of return. Yeah. But the, the reason I'm saying it in this context mm. is that these are also, you know, in, in our communities, mm. the kind of responsibilities people have of the people back home. Mm -hmm. The people back home. I mean, I, I, I was trying to remember, you know, we have a friend and a, a family WhatsApp group, mm. and you know we talk about someone who nearly lost their job, but the, the, the job got saved here. Mm. I said that's good. We are happy now. I'm glad you saved your job. I'm glad you still got your job, and you, I'm glad you still earn your your uh, fifteen hundred pounds a month. I said, but don't forget, your brother-in-law in Pakistan earns thirty pounds a month. So n now that you're glad that your job's been saved, just just I hope you can have some positivity towards the person who earns 30 pounds a month. Because, mm. but, but you know, getting back to what we carry mm. here, you know, these are the things that our elders carry. Yeah. Because they can't forget them. No. They still have to feed them. They still have, you know, and, and Because yes, they were the first generation, weren't yes. they? They were the first generation that come into this country. So th that, Absolutely. when it comes to that relationships, Yeah, it impacts family, a lot. Yeah, it goes back, it, it, it goes back, People, yeah. that hasn't gone out of the memory. And yeah. I think, and I think, we, we, you know, we get so subsumed by this life in yeah. England and all the, and you know, we, we, we not that we have multi millions of money, but we, we but forget, we'll earning, we'll we forget yeah, yeah. how yeah. even our own cousins or our own brothers and sisters mm. in another part of the world are, are, are living on 30 pounds a month. Mm. But um, I, I, I don't entirely agree with that because you see, when you come over here, you still, even if you try to forget, like you said earlier, 
you tip over there, they're not going to let you forget. Yes. Mm. They will still call you. Yeah, and dependency they will still tell culture. You this. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, yeah. Can't, you can't, you can't yeah. move away from that. Yeah. And yes, it's something that is happening every day. It's been happening for very many years. Yeah. People come here in the, in, you know, in, 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 the, in the hope of good life. Mm. And as a result of that, they forget, you know, they well, they forget because they're, they yeah, yes. they're trying yeah. to build. Yeah, they're trying to build their actual life. Yeah, yeah. and the but they're trying the to build their own life here, yes. aren't they? So yeah. it's very difficult for them to actually think about back home when they're actually starting Subsumed. all over. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, they're starting all over again. Our parents started all over again, mm. so it's very difficult. Even though they probably were sending money over there yeah. and, and trying to build, do. and they still, still do. do. So I think, yeah, it, it's very important to remember that they were still building their life for their children mm. That's right. and so we we will be doing the same i suppose and we it's mm. going to carry on isn't it so really we kind of forget the actual essence of of, of, of what we here what we're here to do and the purpose so transit when you're doing your coaching on families and mm. coaching on relation mm. do these kind of things co come into the fore at all a lot of cultural um you know issues do come up but i i, I always think yeah, not right to right. focus on the on on the past because yeah. the past is it, it could be hurtful so I, I i try to kind of get people to focus on the present because mm. what happens, I, I understand what you were saying, mm. you know, but I, I do think that if you continue keep worrying about people back home and people, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I do totally agree serving others. Mm. That's what I, that's my purpose. But when you start saying, or people back home start saying, oh, they never did anything for me. And like you just mentioned, that lady says, mm. your dad forgot us, oh, yes. you know, that's where I think that's the negativity that comes into it because your dad had other focuses, mm -hmm. you know, to deal with other things to deal with his, his, his family. So w I always think you've got to live in the present. Mm -hmm. And when you live in the present, you don't become, you know, frustrated about the past or frustrated or, or, mm -hmm. or upset or angry. If you live here and now, you know, you're going to create your future. So when having a positive mindset right now, here and now, you're creating a positive future and the rest, the, the, the past has happened, the rest will be okay. We'll turn you on that now, we'll take a, a final break mm -hmm. and when we Thank come you. back, yeah. uh, we'll try and get some tips about you know, future strategies, you know, okay. like preventative measures, okay. uh, yes. not reactive measures, yeah. where, where we, you can give us preventative uh, insight of the kind of things we can do in our relationship or anyone can do that healthy relationship, relationship. To, to create a healthy relationship okay. we'll take a course, short break yeah, thank you, thank you. So you know, uh, b before the break we were talking about the different strategies of what happens in relationships and signposting people to make things better mm -hmm. tragic is it, is it what, what are the key fundamental things that you know with viewers watching these programs mm -hmm. are the kind of things you can say to uh, uh, people in relationships, couples, married couples, people in relationships, full stop. Mm -hmm. Of what, w what are the the the, uh, the pillars, the fundamental pillars of a, of a strong positive relationship? W what sh what proactive things can people do? Okay, firstly, I always think first start changing yourself. Your 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 thinking about that person, the negative thoughts you're having about that person. Why you know why you feel anger or frustration from that person first take it inwards how are you behaving what are you thinking of what are you doing so every every any frustration you're 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 you're, you're getting from that person it's not them it's you it's a reflection of you so if they're annoying you you know if if if, if they're saying the wrong thing uh, to you or they're not uh, you know being supportive in your job or supportive in the home with the children looking after the children or even doing household chores you know and that's really frustrating you know for you and that's causing look at yourself what are you actually doing you know as well and then also start then also be be be, be communicate you know communicate with them and tell them what how you're feeling so firstly look at yourself you're a mirror of yourself when you're actually pointing out the negatives of other people and secondly i think it's really important that you actually express express how you're feeling and and, and how you can you know make things positive within your home and changing your mindset and and you know be that security guard of your mind and be very aware mindful of your the security thoughts. guard yeah. of your mind i like yeah. that yeah and be very mindful get, get, get uh, this get this security firm for your own brain yeah. 
Keep it in check. Stop. Keep an eye on it. Twenty-four. So, yeah. So you stop. Twenty-four hours a day. Or when, or, or someone else, um, uh, you know, gave me the strategy is when you're thinking negatively, just press it, and, and anything negative you thought about that person, just press delete, delete, delete three <laughs> times. Really? Yeah. It will work. It works. So you have got, got a negative thought about somebody, you just go yeah. delete, delete, <laughs> delete. You know. Yeah. When Jabba's when Jabba say yes, and my buttons are about to fly out. <laughs> or. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can, I can yeah. forget that. <laughs> or uh, you know, um, shout to yourself, stop it. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. stop it. You know, yeah. and that means stop talking negative to yourself, yeah. and, and that is going to stop those negative thought patterns mm. occurring. So in your relationship, when you start changing your mind about that person, uh, you know. Firstly, having you know, stopping those negative thoughts, you're going to start looking at yeah. a different eye. So, what I'm trying to say, your eyes, you'll take those negative eyes out and put the positive yeah, ones yeah. in. So, you're going to actually not see any conflict with that person because you're thinking, actually, I'm going to actually see the positives in that mm. person. I'm going to start, you know, really kind of looking at all the positive qualities about them. Mm. And when you start that, like the scenario when you come, you know, husband or wife comes from work, you can actually see the positives Positive and thinking positive, yeah. you know and, and, and start saying good things to them and start actually really wanting to know how they are and how they're feeling and really no I, I, can re I, I can relate to that I, I remember I think about a year and a half or two year, years ago I was really the depth of my despair about lots of things weren't happening and I said Roger from now on when you get up spend the whole day mm. every day mm. you keep that smile you keep that yes. smile and you keep positive mm. and I thought I don't care whatever situation you, you keep positive yeah. just Whatever interaction you're having, take it positively. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm saying that to myself every morning, hmm? right? Affirmations, uh, it works, what it works. we said, yeah. you know, And a lot of positive things started happening back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I was always looking for the positivity, that's even it. in some of the most difficult situations. You got it. What about you, son? You, you all strike me, that's why I think our friendship, we've had such a long friendship, you know. But you're, you're a very positive person, you know. Yes, you yes. never give up. <laughs> I, I love your positivity. I, I, and, and, you know, like, there's been a, a world recession and mm, everyone's, some people have, you know, like committed suicide in, in, in the 2008 crash. Mm. And my friend Uzzel was saying that, you know, multimillionaires, you know, like some killed, one, one particular one killed his partner, mm. just out of the pressure of, of losing it's things. Pressure. There's a lot of pressure in this world, so we have to really Sonny? be careful. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know. I what, what, how, what, what, what brings that smile to your face every day? You always have this sense of positivity. Everybody says in your that. aura. In your aura. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says that. I, I've got a lot of positivity about me. Mm. Uh, I don't believe in negativity. Mm. Uh, I believe that negativity is not going to achieve anything positive, mm. and because of that, I tend to take every day as it comes and. Uh, you know, I set my goals and I have a mindset that things will be okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I should just keep moving, mm. keep working yeah. hard. And, you know, everything else will fall into place accordingly. But it's all about how you program your mind. Mm. Mm. You know, your if mindset. you think negative, you're only going to get pure negativity. Mm. And if you, if you, you know, if, 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 you, if you think positive, pure positiveness will come to you. Mm. And, and do, you, do, you, do you think about it as a daily basis? Do you go, right, come on, Sully, here we go. Uh, I just Morning. refuse to be defeated. Yes. And I'm not a defeatist. Mm. So, you know, irrespective of what life throws at you, mm. you need to stand strong and, Hold steady. And, 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 mm. and, and face it. And, you know, if you keep on throwing it against the wall, mm. one of them is definitely going to stick one of the days. Yes. You know, there's a lot of people that have become multimillionaires. Mm. You see, my father always says to me that, you know, this our life is full of striking illustrations of people who emerge victorious from the vicissitudes and wreckages of life. And what that means, I can break it into three parts. Mm -hmm. This our life is full of striking illustrations. So if you see a lot of people that have become multimillionaire, multimillionaires or have made it in life, if you go and ask them how they managed to get there, if they tell you their story, I'm telling you, you won't want to share half of what they mm -hmm. went through. Yeah. So it's full of striking illustrations yeah. of people who emerge victorious from the vicissitudes and wreckages of life. So yeah. these are people that have made money. They, there are people that have had, you know, 20 companies and different Lost ideas didn't money. work. And then they hit one that actually works and their life changed mm. altogether. Mm. And so being positive, a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people have, Pass, you know, passed away or moved on or died or, you know, and you are still here. And when there's yeah. life, there's hope. Yeah. So positiveness is the only way. Absolutely. And I'm always smiling. Yeah.
Well, that, 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 <laughs> that, I, I, that's a great insight, Sadi. That also reminds me, uh, you probably, I'm not sure if you follow boxing, but there's a world famous fighter called Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. And do you know, yeah. he, like he had an interview last year with Ricky Hatton. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's Claire Balding was interviewing both of them. And, and he was so calm within himself. And he goes, Look, I'm a different Mike Tyson. He goes, I, I was a young man, a young man mm. from the street, a young man who, who was an orphan. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, um, you know, and who lived in care, and had lots of issues. But he goes, right now, at this stage of my life, even though I haven't got the millions I had, I squandered a lot of millions. People screwed me for multi millions. Mm. But he goes, I'm the happiest I am in my mm. life like that. And he goes, I will never give that up for anything. And, and that, I think that says a lot as it's well. All about the contentment, he, he, isn't he, it? He's yeah. learned to be content, yeah. to use content and within peace. himself. Yeah. Mm. That well, is actually that's very the key thing, clear. isn't it? Because I met Mike Tyson, yeah. you know, with another friend of ours, uh, Joe Egan. And, uh, you know, it, it, I find him to be very humble. Yes. Mm. And mm. by virtue of the experiences he's had, yes. mm. he has been at the pinnacle of boxing. Yeah. Striking. Yeah. Things, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, if you look at the story, now the striking illustrations yes, come yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's full of striking illustrations. Yeah, of yes. course. So that striking illustration is what is coming about. Yes. You yeah. see, you see so many people that will be around you mm. when things are good, when mm. your cars yes. are on the up. When and the cars are down. And when the it, cars yeah. are down. Yeah, the phone stops ringing, as I say. Yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah, and, yeah. and then you will be at peace, actually, because there's a lot of weight, because there's yeah. so many people so that are fake. Expectations, isn't yeah. there? That are no longer yeah. around you. Yeah. And all of a sudden, mm. you are your person. Yes. You've seen Found everything for what it you is. Really and then you're at peace. And I think that is where Mike Tyson is. And when you're at peace, things fall in naturally, right. yes. anyway. So look, he's doing a lot of talk shows in America, yes, yes. to which he gets paid mm -hmm. for them. Yes. And you know, his host, he's got his own, you know, mm. uh, show mm. with yeah. we, we, where does a bit of whatever, like comedy, mm. yes, be able yeah. to, 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 to to generate some money. So, but and he's like uh, an expert analyst, yeah, mm. at major mm. fights. That's you know. right. And probably the most world famous name yeah, uh, yeah. Of, of, world our, famous. of our generation. Yeah, 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 of but you know, like I said, he's so grounded now, but he yeah, right. and, and, and he puts a lot of the emphasis. Life experiences, yeah. isn't it? Really? But you know, he yeah. says, I have a partner in my life who who's uh, taught me about what the important things in life are, mm. and he goes, I, I couldn't be more content. Mm. You know, and yeah. I think and I think it's, it's that kind of signposting. Yeah. Someone's given him you know, like yeah, the, uh -huh. the right keypad yeah. with the, the right buttons mm -hmm. that he's so calm and he is interesting he was saying to ricky hatton he goes ricky man i still think you can be world champion now because ricky mm -hmm. said no no i've done my time <laughs> 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 done i'm telling you ricky you still got it man he goes you still got it <laughs> you know but also you know what he said because uh, ricky hatton was talking about how you know as part of his journey in life he's he, he doesn't talk to his parents mm. anymore and, and, and you know mike tyson that's sad yeah that's, sad. that's, that's sad, exactly what mike tyson said yeah. and mike goes Listen, man, he goes, whatever you beef with your parents, yeah. he goes, you, you, you got to let go, yeah. man. That's what he said. He goes, he goes life is too short. Mm. Life is too mm. short. And he goes, whatever, whoever's wrong, it doesn't matter. Yeah. He goes, Ricky, you be the bigger man, yeah. but you should not stop talking to your, your parents. parents. Yeah. That's right. You know? But, you know, for, for Mike Tyson to be saying that, you know, with his upbringing yeah. on the street yeah. and yeah. in care, yeah. you know, it just shows. Turn around. Yeah. So it just shows you could just turn turn your life around easily. And it's not and about the money. Because when he had money, people used to go into Sunset Boulevard. You know, there's a famous story. He used to go to mm. the Georgia Marlin shop. And he had 50 people, five other people. Yeah. And they all left with Georgia, lots, five, six bags in each hand, all That's of them, right. yeah. paid by Mike Tyson. Yeah. Wow. Just before his And credit when he goes into clubs, yeah. there's more than 100 people to the point where I look, yeah. they say, look, we don't really want you to come in here. Mm. Yeah. Not because we don't like you, but you've got too much time. Yeah. yeah. That does happen. a lot of people. Yeah. There's a lot of anger on. Yeah. And but, sh but surely also it, it shows the full circle of life. Of course. That you, know, you go through this life sometimes chasing money, yeah. you know, ch chasing and valuables. And the important things. Yes, yes. So it's, it's life, life, Earth is, or, or the universe, is, is, it's a school, isn't it? Yeah. And we're all every day, every single day we're learning. So with Mike Tyson, he's obviously learned his lessons, hasn't he? Mm. His experiences, and that's kind of made him the person he is today. That's right. And you have to have those challenges uh, in your life to kind of come out the other end. You've got to have those challenges. If you don't have those challenges, how are you going to learn? Yeah. You're not going to learn. If you've got it always, you know, fantastically rosy, clear, you know, clear, you're not going to learn anything. You've got to have those challenges to kind of make you a better person, but help you grow.
That's how you grow in challenges, with the storm, you grow. But through guidance, someone can avoid all those type of, you know. Basic big errors. Yeah, big er basic errors, mm -hmm. yeah. And that is where your service is invaluable. To, to people because Absolutely. you are not you are not just addressing the yeah. issue of the marriage or issues within the marriage you are actually looking at the root causes yes and helping them to identify mm. that those issues yes. need to be addressed before mm. they can move on Absolutely. to a better relationship yeah. and dare I say if I can have the final word it's like having the driving instructor in the car again <laughs> <laughs> if you don't if you don't press the right buttons mm. and don't turn the right key you're going to crash. Yeah. That's right. and, and what you're saying, Sonny, if you've got someone, an expert who can avoid the, the crashes, That's right. then you can have a much calmer journey. Yeah, Absolutely. and I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to help. Yeah. Well, um, Tranjit, Sonny, it's been lovely having you, you on the Pure program today. Thank you very much. And I look forward to have, uh, meet, catching up with both of you every week. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot, Roger.